Guys, Astro Man Dragonis here, so I'm back today with a Dragoborn Rally to War case unboxing. So, uh, this is a master case of you know, the first edition, I believe. It contains about uh, two cases in it, so I think about 32 boxes, so 16 box cases, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and open this, and we'll do the first case for now, but I think we'll eventually do both. Um, I haven't seen one of these, I haven't seen a case opened on camera yet as of this date. Uh, it's still a bit early. Um, I don't think the set comes out until Thursday. It's a really weird release date thing that they're doing. I'm not sure why uh, they're just not following regular Bushy Road releases, but whatever. Uh, we'll do one of these unboxings. Um, can't purchase the cards, I guess, until they officially release on Thursday or whenever. But uh, this should give you guys, um, allow us to sort some product, but it also will let you guys uh, see kind of what the, an idea of what the ratios are like. Move this to a table. Okay, so Rally to War. Um, 320 packs. 16 boxes, 20 packs a box. Uh, Bring in Japan, okay. Uh, first edition, so on. I think the only difference in the first edition is that it comes with a public play mat. Um, go ahead, set this tripod. Alright, so that should... And as usual with all of our unboxing videos, uh, if you guys don't care about any of the whatever in between, you guys can just go to the end and we'll have the results. Okay, so, uh, seems like... I think these are like luck and logic size boxes. They might actually be using the same, you know. So this is a booster box. Yeah, it looks exactly like a luck and logic box. So they might have, uh, they're just probably using like the same, um, raw material. Just because, uh, they probably ordered a lot. And I think they're still printing luck and logic too. So this is a box of the play mats. This is probably what a, bu a booster box of luck and logic looks like now, actually. Um, so it looks like, you know, four of these. So every four boxes, you're supposed to get a play mat. Uh, if you buy first edition, and depending on the retailer you buy from, and so on, there's the play mat. Um, it's very more, uh, it's more Magic the Gathering S art. I mean, understandable considering one of the designers, I believe, was very, it's very uh, Magic the Gathering ish. So we're gonna do top left, go down, and then go back up. So let's grab these two boxes out for now, and I'll move this out of the out of the view so that I can set up a station um, to open this stuff on. Okay, so we'll open a box. So this is the top leftmost box. So I'm opening the box, yeah, just like looking logic. Side side packed and there's some dice. It comes with one of every color dice. I believe every first edition box has these has a pack of dice in it. Um, I don't know how far off I'm going to do. We have this thing, which I think are fort cards. Maybe I can do this right now. So I'm going to open this pack. Uh, I might ignore the rest of the packs, the rest of the boxes, but open this pack. So you can kind of take a look. There you go. So well, these are promo, yeah, promo fort pack or forts, flags or whatever. So those are pretty cool. Um, so we'll start with the first pack. So I'm not gonna really go through them that fast or slow. I'm not sure how rare these work. I think it's these dots. So this double or uncommon, I think this is a, maybe a triple. So I'm gonna say this is a, I don't know. I'm gonna say it's by the dots though.
is the keeper. And then there's a random foil. So I have actually not really played any of Dragoborn yet. So I have no idea kind of how the gameplay is. So three of these. I don't know if these are triple. I have the, maybe these are regular rares. I have no idea how the rarity of this system or if any how which cards are good or whatnot. Yeah, look at all the two dots are. Maybe when we get to um, the case, I'll go look up. Oh, there's a four star or four dot. Whatever that, I think that might be the rarest ones. So those are the ones you want. It's not good to have a lot of different rarities anyway, though. Uh, I, I think that's part of the problem with Force of Will right now is that it's it's diluting too much with so many rarities. Which is, I mean, it's I guess decent for players because you can get cheap cards cheaper, but secondary market is terrible because of it and you don't want the, you don't want your card to be worth nothing pretty much is what I'm trying to get at uh, so between three or four one dots a couple of two dots random foil I'm guessing I'm gonna say the three dots are double rare this looks like more double rare or regular rare uh, four dot I think I might be getting so that four. I want to take a look at booster packaging. Okay. So the two dots are uncommons. Then there's regular rare. Okay, so double rare is the highest rarity. Okay. So the uh, the four dots, or the gold, whatever, that's uh, double rare. 120 cards, and each card can be a parallel. Whatever. Contains eight cards. Okay, so there's also a little warning that second print uh, might be a different quality in cards. So those are regular rares. So you get about three or four commons a pack, it looks like. Five. Okay, that could be up to five, two uncommons, and a regular rare. But some packs can have more than one rare. So these are rare. say threes but I think they're they're calling it based on the dot color they I guess they're future proofing though by saying it's color instead of the amount of dots and this is a double rare so I think there's four double rares in a box if it's like that and it's Y shorts pretty much and I actually I think looking logic is actually good. it's a five or one of each color so far I think so it's like Y shorts uh, I think white shorts and looking like it's pretty much like white shorts like in terms of the way the rarity system is set up here. So, usually two uncommons. Last pack from the box. Four. So there's foil or the replace of regular rare or, or common, I mean. So we're going to the second box now. Um, another dice pack. Uh, the same promos. I don't think the dice quality is that great, so maybe they'll improve it going forward. So it's four. The card stock 
kind of feels like kind of luck and logic ish. So I feel like they're they they reuse they're reusing a lot of Ria sources because the game is kind of like luck and logic 2.0 also um, from what I've heard and seen. So I feel like they're just reusing a lot of the resources there, and so they don't have to spend extra one. So that's the first double rare. I'm not sure how valuable singles are going to be though. It sounds that seems pretty up in the air actually. Oh, there it is. That is a uh, a foil double rare. So those are probably the cards that are worth the most money in this game right now, or the double rares that are uh, that are foil. Card and the foil version of it in the same pack. That's interesting. I wonder why they chose her. I mean, I guess because she's a female character. Um, but I would think they should have chosen like a dragon or a double rare for the playing that art. That's another best dragon. Fairy, Queen, and Tail. Foil. Ripper. Oh yeah, and I didn't notice it. I've been so I opened these unconsciously in that dragon. Is that these uh these rip apart like normal bushy road packs, I suppose to what expected. Just foil. So all these two uncommon bushes are going to foil Yeah. You can get up to three rares. Let me stick at the end. Kind of. Okay, so between three and five. It's pretty interesting uh, ratios there. We're going on to the third box. This is the top one of the second uh, column. I think result-wise, we're probably just going to do a, uh, a little thing with foils and uh, the double rares. It doesn't seem like a point doing the other rares. I wonder if you can get a rare and a double rare. Plus it's foil.
I gonna move this out because it's kind of getting hefty. There's the dragon. So I suspect we are probably going to end up with maybe a place of each card in half well, uh, of doubles. There's always a pack in every box. It looks like there is three. Right in it. Dragon. Um, the way the rarities look like they're set up, they're probably going to introduce something like a transfer or GR or whatever soon. I would say second or third set, it looks like they probably do that. Um, just because it's squishy road, and I think that they'll need to do something like that. Maybe um, a hydro thingy. I think they have a hydro for the dragon, I'm not sure. Uh, they'll probably introduce some more chase cards other than alternate foil. Kind of like the buddy rare, whatever. Depending on what game you play. Well, Dragonborn, of course, we would start off the uh, set with Fire Dragon. Four star. There were four boxes, two four star foils. Which I'm assuming are the chase cards. Store some comments in this box. I want to figure out where my two and four threes and whatever are. Red. Red. 
around. Oh, there it is. You saw it in a fourth round. Never mind. Uh, I'm consciously looking for it. We have this guy, he's a slime. I'm surprised we didn't have the vampire to hold supposed to be the clan leader, I guess. He should probably be in the next set. I think the fairy queen is supposed to be the leader of uh, the, the one of the factions. Let's just go. We don't have her actual card yet, I believe, so. Oh, no, it's three. Okay. Going to the next column. And now that we're here, I'm gonna... Move my commons out of the way. Get my commons. Get my own commons out of the box. Else can stay for now. So third column, first box, so box five. Recognize. I guess I don't have the orc guy that was in the commercial. Next box, six. If this has a four star um, foil on it, then it looks like it's every two boxes. But we'll see.
All right, guys. Um, power died. So back in here. Finishing off that box. All right, so we're on the seventh box. Last column on the top, all the way to the right. Oh, that There it is. I think that's three. Uh, three double rare foils. Oh, same box. Interesting. And that happens. Flooded. All right, last box on the top. So this is the all the way to the right. Um,
dragon. A lot of foil. There's a big stack of foils there. Which I, uh, it looks like TCG's carrying um, cards. So it'll be interesting to see the pricing, but also if they have uh, foils. I know they didn't have buddy fight foils for the longest time. They're just starting to do it, or they have it now for most of it, but quite, quite inconvenient. Oh, there is no four. Bushy Road logo too. Not sure why we decided to do that. I guess for more uh, English appeal. Looks like a sports logo. What I want to know is if you can get two double rare photos in one box, which it doesn't look like you can. That's not going to happen. I don't think they could go back there packing it in that way. Okay, so that was the first half of the case. We go right into the second half. So this is the bottom, top, left. I'm gonna do the column thing again, so this will be box nine. Yeah, my comp is I keep stacking them too high. Yeah, boxings have a lot of cards too. Or maybe it might not be a lot. I could just be thinking it too, thinking, overthinking. Set two is coming out pretty soon, actually. So, really soon.
Alright, box 10. I just realized that I want to use one of these one of these packs or something, so I'm gonna carefully yeah, that should be. Oh there's Angel. Oh wow, two regular rares and a double rare. I have no doubt that I probably mixed a double rare in one of the regular rare piles. I'll double check before I do the results. Box 11.
Ah, same first card. Same second card. And third card. And fourth card. Fifth card. And it's different. That's interesting. Sounds like the pull rates, unless you're getting foils, seem almost more worth it to buy boxes than singles. But like, buy a couple of boxes, and, uh, unless you don't need a lot of cards. It looks like you should probably just buy a couple boxes. I think you get one of every color double rare, at least, in a box. Box 12. Okay. Yeah, I just tore that off. I draw. What? Did he open a? Is this a god pack? Did he just open a pack with all? With a, well, with a foil, four star, or four dot, a regular four dot, and six regular rares. I think that's what they call the god pack. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't expect something like that, but that's a cool nod. Not too... Well, I don't know how much rares are, or how rare rares are.
All right, we're on our final stretches. Four boxes left. This is box number 13. Seemed like for this set, so they just mixed in a bunch of cool fantasy stuff. Like get Mecha Samurai thing, or for, for you know, it's a lot of the generic fantasy stuff, and then angels and demons or whatever, and then mixed in random other just together, I guess. I feel a bit being a bit too rough on the pads, but I'm gonna check and it's okay, but don't risk it guys. Fourteen. I think it was box twelve of the dark pack. That's pretty deep in actually. I'm not sure how much of a god pack it was. That depends on the price of rares, but if it's like buddy fight where some rare cards actually worth money and actually in buddy fight, I think there are even uh Uncommon and stuff worth quite a bit of money, but I think part of that reason that game is supply more than anything, supply issues.
Alright, I think this is the chase card. Is this eight? Oh. It's like uh, Luck and Logic. This is Luck and Logic 2.0, so you have this skate thing. That's cool. There was a quote unquote God pack, and then there was this pretty much a gate cards, or you know, character gate cards. Is that why she's not in this set? Because she's a gate thing? Or a tower? Whatever, keep. Opening case, you don't, especially if things are more exciting, you don't expect things like that. Look how rare those things are. It's in luck and logic, I know, but the uh, secret. Oh, secret rares, that's what they were called. Secret rares or could go up to like 100 plus, depending on the one. S05. I'm guessing it means secret number 5 because there are multiple secret rares. Alright, not too excited about that. We're gonna get through our final boxes. 15. 16. Just gonna get through these real fast. I can do the results and then we can move on with our life. <laughs> Actually, I better remove these out of the way first because they, uh,
Continuing. I thought that was only another art thing for a second. Well, I mean, it is full art, but. Not really special. Alright, last box in the case 16. Bottom right in this box. Do it again. Damn it. Okay. Four packs left. Oh, well, there was a foil, but otherwise nothing special. Nothing too special. All right, guys, thanks for watching this so far. It's been a little boring. Uh, we'll be back in a moment with the results. back with the results 
So uh, case one results, here's kind of like the full view before I get into it. Uh, so first things first, this dragon here, off here, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. It's like ten copies. Um, six copies of the Minotaur guy. About nine copies of the Black Dragon. The Slime guy looks like seven copies. Zero, we have six copies. Uh, so four, six, eight, ten copies of the Hydra. The Fairy Girl, or Fairy Queen, I think, I guess. Seven copies of her. Four, five, six, nine copies of the Earth Dragon. Seven copies of the Angel. Uh, I think it's Angel. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, nine copies of the Light Dragon. Or Yellow Dragon. Whatever. So that's kind of uh, gives you guys an idea. Uh, looks like you're going to get at least six copies of every card. Um, that is a double rare. So that's that. Uh, and we'll be back in a moment with the foils. We're back with the foils. Um, I kind of, they're not really that sorted, but they're sorted by color. So here is the common foils. As you can see, it's a, it's like a double rare foiling if you're used to card fight. Um, yeah. And just kind of give you guys an idea. These are the common ones for light. I'm just going to scroll through them. They're not really sorted. Then we're going to the blue now. And you just kind of see, hopefully it's reflecting the light off of them. It's pretty interesting. And then we're entering green. So there's a lot of foils you're getting. You're going to be getting quite a bit of them. Red. Black. Uh, so those are the commons. Here I have the rest of them, which this is the uncommons. You can see the two little dots there. Uh, these are a bit more sorted, and you start to see like you get less of each color. It's the same foiling process, uh, and there are duplicates that you can get. So, but I believe every card in this set can be a foil. Uh, it's just you're not going to get every card as a foil in a case. Probably take a few cases for that. Uh, so there's that. And we're, this is the rare, so we've been, we moved into the rares already. Uh, black, blue. Okay, so here is the uh, I guess double rares, what they're called. So here's a double rare foil. We got one of her, one of the Minotaur, one of the uh, Dragon. They kind of have a similar, there's a kind of a little texture here. Uh, let's see, let's see, yeah, they all have kind of a texture like thing. And so when you get to the double rares, they have like, they actually get more texture instead of a clear foil. Whereas something like here, it's just a clear foil. So there's a texture on the here. And we have the Hydra. Again, you kind of see a little texture there. And then there's zero. So we actually got two of these. Uh, one was from the God Pack, which was uh, pretty much just rares, a double rare and zero. So I think the double rare was a black dragon. Which is pretty nice. And then we have this card, which I believe is a secret rare. It is textured. You can see. Uh, here's one card. So same back as all the other cards. It's textured, and I believe it's a fort card. So it's really nice. But anyway, uh, that has been... Ash from Magic Goddess with a Dragoborn Rally to War, I believe is set one. Case, unboxing, and results. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.
Okay, so quick little edit here. Uh, I've been told that this thing uh, is a character banner. It's a banner, not a fort. Um, so I don't know what the difference of that is. I will try to find out, but uh, I just want us to clarify that. And also to clarify that the luck and logic comments that were made throughout this video um, are not meant to be negative of Dragoborn at all. Uh, from what I've seen of Dragoborn, uh, I think it's a good game. I feel it's a spiritual successor to Luck and Logic, uh, but apparently the developer had actually done a lot of the game development before Luck and Logic had released, so uh, could it just be similarities or whatever? Uh, a coincidence. But we actually really enjoy Luck and Logic here at uh, IYG. We thought we think it is one of the best design games that Bushy has ever put out. Um, so it's not meant to be as an insult, and uh, you guys should definitely check out Dragoborn if uh, this video or anything about the game art or whatever interests you. It, uh, it might surprise you how fun it is. They call themselves Imagine Your Goddess. What a bunch of a-holes. Ah, 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 ah